Welcome to New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park's virtual performance series. The mission of the park is to serve the nation as a global leader in the dissemination of New Orleans jazz by enhancing and instilling a public appreciation and understanding of the origins, early history, development, and progression of this uniquely American music art form, jazz. Today's video opens with Rosalind DeRoos riding her bike down Dutch Alley in New Orleans. Following this, the performance will begin on stage with Richard Scott performing on the upright piano, screen left, and Rosalind playing clarinet and singing in the middle of the stage. Interspersed throughout the performance are short interviews with Rosalind. At the end, she'll be riding her bike into the sunset. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the outstanding musical performance. New Orleans is known all over the world for the amazing musicians who first crafted the style of music we call jazz. Today, over a hundred years later, creative musicians still come to New Orleans to learn the style, to collaborate with other musicians, and to share their talent with visitors from all over the world. Today, we present Rosalind Roos, New Orleans clarinetist, vocalist, and band leader, along with Richard Scott on piano. This video is presented by the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park.
from Honduras, but I was raised in New Jersey. And I lived all over the country. And about five years ago, I wanted to uh, study and learn uh, trad jazz music. And I came down here with another musician friend of mine. And I never went back. So yeah, I moved here about five years ago. And it's been a blessing since. Some other girl You even gray Let's see him lying And hell's gray So ladies if your man is nice You better take this advice Hug him in the morning Kiss him every night Get fun loving And make sure that love And rock us a good man It's hard to find Some other girls you eat crap, don't see him lying in his grave. So, ladies, if your man is nice, you better take on this advice. Hug him in the morning, kiss him every night, give him plenty of love, and make sure the love and cry cause a good man is hard to find. Had the uh, kind of the privilege to, to venture off into uh, honing in my own sound or pursuing my own interests. I 
I gravitated to uh, music from Brazil. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, the, in a style it's called Choro, Chorinho. It's kind of the grandfather to Bossa Nova. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of where Samba began. Um, and uh, I just have always loved that style of music. It's about, you know, 20s and 30s, 40s was its popularity, um, which has a lot of similarities to music here in New Orleans. Um, and the history with clarinet and the music written and for the clarinet to kind of thrive in that, uh, in that style. Tico, Tico. song on this piano because they've uh, an artist has, has painted her image on the piano yeah. so this is her piano now and how about we're going to share this song with you Thank you. 
professionalism but in a very relaxed atmosphere and I feel like that intimacy when almost when you're kind of at the same level with uh, with the other customers and patrons I, I just feel like it's a little bit more uh, inviting and it's, it's more uh, it's just more uh, human aspect to it so I, I prefer a smaller venue of less than like 50 I feel more all right we're about to play a beautiful Manoush tune this is composed by Django Reinhardt himself 
and this is called Deuce on the Lights.
school and um, you know were offered to be in band camp um, I wanted to play the flute but uh, I have an older brother that had a handy down uh, uh, clarinet so uh, we, I started on the clarinet so that, that's kind of how that happened it was kind of like well here's an instrument now so play on it but I'm glad I stuck with it so and I do have a flute as well <laughs> so. uh, me like my sister Kate this song, uh, Louis Armstrong said he wrote it, but a couple other people said they wrote it, too. I feel too. like there's some controversy on There's some yes, controversy. Yes. <laughs> but it's still a great song, and it's about yes. Shimeon. Yes, it is. And so any yes, song about right. Shimeon is all right. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
my favorite clarinet players um, from Brazil. I like Paulo Mora. He's one of my favorite uh, clarinet players um, from New Orleans. I like uh, Pete Fountain. He, I think he's amazing. He swings really hard. Um, a contemporary of mine uh, who I just love her sound is Anat Cohen. So those are the three like I've just been jiving with lately. Artie Shaw is awesome too from the swing era. Yeah.
I think, um, you know, music here is uh, lively and it's really danceable, so it's really rhythmic and it grooves, it's really groove-centric. And I feel like that was a focus that I, I wanted to improve. And I feel like, it, it, you know, we're achieving that uh, in, in that it, in that direction, so to speak. Um, it's definitely, um, I want to play music that inspires people to dance and move and enjoy the moment and to be in the present moment um, through their, you know, expression and physicality. And I know that this town, uh, you know, it just, it grooves, it swings, man. So yeah, that's, to me, that's what I love so much.